Hello everyone, and welcome to the Dream Team Devlog for October. Oh no! Things have calmed down a little bit since last month, thankfully. So it seems that things are getting a little bit back on track. My last couple videos have been pretty indicative of my mind frame. Oh my we've got so much to go. Anyway, that's done, and now we're here. I ended off last month not having exactly met my goals. So for this month, I carried on working on the replication, and fixing up some of the, the gaps that I had left to open then. This month I didn't have any exact goals, I just kind of went through my trailer page to see what was still there and then worked my way through the little bits and bits that were left over. The main ones that caught my eye were quests, gadgets and audio. Alright sure, let's go. Quests, quests, missions, scenarios, whatever you want to call them, we started making them. I wanted to have some nasty design missions to test out the general combat, so I created some rickety dodgy stodgy fortresses for the nightmares to hang out in. Look at how unsafe it is, it's wonderful. Our first quest has us pitted against a small force. The nightmares have only just gotten to the stream, so their fortifications are weak. We only have to take out five of them to scare them off. The second quest has a little bit more complexity to it. In this case, the nightmares have been around for a little bit longer. They've constructed this big old tower to watch over the surroundings. If you can get to the top and defeat all those rangers, you're good. But at the base of the tower is guarded by munchers. They'll violently nibble you with a little regard for your well-being. The third quest is staged at the base of one of the leaders of the nightmares, King Mobok. He's surrounded by an elite sniper force that has extreme accuracy over long ranges and fairly harsh damage. Dodging between the floating islands to avoid their line of sight might be a good way to get close. I've designed quite a few paths to get around the scenario where the snipers are watching open spaces, munches are hiding in hallways, and the lesser archers are just freaking everywhere. King Mobok also has the strongest rifle of the bunch. With his blue laser, it's easy to tell when you're in for a bad time. Getting to the top and dethroning him is your objective. And at this stage in development, it's the final mission. So that's the quests. I'm happy with how they're turning out, but we can't have too much fun yet. There's still way more to be done. The next item on the agenda is gadgets. Gadgets are weird and funky tools that are held in your Q and E slots. They can be used for a variety of different things and will change your playstyle significantly. Some of the previous functionality I've had has also been converted into gadgets. Some of the examples of gadgets are <clears throat> a healing potion. Just like in real life, chugging an entire bottle of medicine instantly heals you up. A speed potion. Just like in real life, downing a two liter bottle of coke lets you sprint around crazy fast for like five seconds. Cyanide. Just like real life, when Wait, why did I add this? Wings! Just like real life, strapping about five feathers to your back lets you fly around. Like, actually just fly around. Grappling hook. This one isn't like real life at all. No, I've, I've tried it. Nobody can swing like this. It's impossible to do this. No. So, that's gadgets. Next up is audio. As you may have noticed, the Dream Team doesn't have much sound when it comes to gameplay. That's kind of just because I have no idea how sound works and I'm kind of afraid to touch it, but now I kind of have to add some. Otherwise it's just weird. So I've tried to go through most of the animations that would sound super bad without sound and add the appropriate effect. For this I've been using the Ultimate SFX Bundle. The link will be in the description. They've got some really good stuff, so I'm just going to shut up so you can kind of hear what I've been working on. Uh, keep in mind that a lot of this is placeholder.
So really, that's about it. It's a bit of a shorter day vlog, but I'm trying to really narrow things down. I hope you enjoyed this month, and I'm really glad with how much I've got done. I'm expecting to finish this build before the end of the year, and about then I'll be starting to send out playtest links. I might take a little bit of a break too, to work on some other smaller projects, but I'll be back for sure. Oh, and by the way, we have a Discord up. If you want to give feedback on the vlogs or the game in general, that's probably the best place to find me. As always, relevant links will be in the description, and I do hope to see you again next time. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Toodaloo!